normal right now, right? Yes. Slowly uh, but surely, uh, Sergei Volkov uh, beginning to work the crank handle as uh, he now maneuvers the Strela crane with Oleg Kononenko tethered uh, to the boom itself uh, from its uh, base along the pier's docking compartment up toward the work site at the Soyuz spacecraft, which is at the top of your screen. Alex. Alex. Yes, go ahead. When uh, we're, you're going to get close to the vehicle and you're going to go down, you need to position yourself in the vicinity of the anchor. Okay. Well, I can hold on to the anchor now. Okay, go ahead. Sergey? Yes. We would like you to stop all of about uh, one or uh, two meters away from plane one and, if possible, take photographs. Well, I'm now doing some observations. MLA looks normal. So you're watching it? Yes. Yes. Except, yes, the only thing is the edges of the MLA, where we did took photographs of those, are curled. But other than that, no changes, nothing. So the MLA it looks the same way as it does around the entire vehicle. Um, do, you, do you see the nozzles of the thrusters? Yes, I see the nozzles. I see the air outlet valve. Could you tell the, inter the interface between um, the vehicle and the truss, uh, the MLI should be tucked in. Um, do you see that now? Are you talking about the interface between the SA and the PEHO frame? Yes. MLI itself has sort of a skirt at the edge and along the perimeter. I'll stop. Uh, I'm going to lower you now, Oleg. Do you think you'll arrive at the work site? No. No, I think I'm going to go down at the solar array. Okay, let me lower you so we can target the area better. I'm going to start to lower you. I'm not lowering you just yet. I don't see any particular violations or disruptions. Do you see the picture? Yes, we see. Do you see now? Yes, we see. But it's still uh, a little bit too far for the camera. I'm going to lower Oleg. Okay, Sergey, go ahead. This view now uh, from Oleg Kononenko's helmet camera as uh, he is being moved uh, into position near the work site and the Soyuz TMA-12 that you see below him. Right at the bottom of your screen, the bulbous section, that's the orbital module, the top portion of the three modules of the Soyuz TMA-12. You soon uh, will see come into the field of view the descent module, the crew cabin, uh, in which uh, Greg Shamatov is housed during today's spacewalk. And at the bottom of your screen now coming into view is uh, the uh, 
instrumentation and propulsion module. That's the white section uh, to which the solar arrays are attached. It is right at the top of that section. That's the interface where the uh, multi-layer insulation flap is located uh, that you heard uh, Volkov provide a uh, general description of just a moment ago. That flap uh, will be pulled up uh, by uh, Kononenko when he arrives at the work site uh, for an initial visual inspection under the flap of the uh, two thrusters, the uh, pyro bolts and the electrical connectors and the separation mechanism uh, that is housed uh, at that one uh, position. There are five uh, gangs of latches uh, that mechanically separate the instrumentation and propulsion module from the descent module. The area of interest is uh, position number five and the two pyro bolts in that area, one of which will be electrically demated and removed uh, to be placed in a blast-proof canister and brought back inside the International Space Station. Again, okay, lower. Do you see the clearance between Stroll and Bell? No, I don't see it. I have, uh, my view is obstructed. I'm closer to the 